I am so excited to show you our new oxygenation system, the AirHog 2000. Everyone knows how important oxygen is to good yeast health. And you will get quicker fermentations, shorter lag times, and a better tasting product. The AirHog 2000 is the best way that I have seen for home brewers to get the correct amount of oxygen into their wort. When you receive your kit, you'll see that it comes with a 20 cubic foot oxygen tank with an oxygen valve on it. It comes with a specially designed oxygen regulator, air hose and worm clamps, a diffusion wand with a diffusion stone at the end of it. Try not to touch the stone with your fingers. The oil from your skin can clog the pores in the stone. To assemble your kit, you're going to need just a few tools. You're going to need a wrench, a screwdriver, and a pint of your favorite beer. Okay, to start, you need to get your wrench handy and your regulator. These oxygen tanks, by regulations, have to ship empty, so it will come to you empty. You're going to need to find a place that will fill oxygen for you, and a welding supply place is a good place to start. Uh, you might want to call around and make sure that you've got a source uh, to fill your oxygen tank. Now, the regulator goes right into there, and with oxygen regulators, there really is no gasket or o-ring. It just goes straight in, and you're going to want to tighten it snug and tight, but not over tight. Now with the wrench, I got it as far as I could with my hand and I'm just going to give it just a little more tweak and that should do it. Now to test it, make sure your dial is set to zero and turn the valve open one full turn. You should not hear any hissing. If you do hear hissing, go ahead and turn the valve off and op open up the regulator to let the pressure out and then try to put the regulator on again. I don't hear any hissing, so it appears that it went on correctly. Now, we want to get our air hose and our worm clamps out. Just slide one end of the hose over the barb on the regulator. And tighten down your worm clamp. Now, if you have any trouble getting the air hose over the, the barb on the regulator, you can keep a glass of hot water or a coffee cup of really hot water uh, to, to put the hose down in to loosen up the vinyl. Same goes for the other end, which is going to go on your diffusion wand. Now, that one goes in a little bit easier. and tighten your worm clamp. Now since I have already gotten my tank filled, I am ready to brew. Let's get to it. Okay, now our brew is done and ready for some good O2. Now I've already cleaned the wand and the stone and it needs to be as clean as your fermenters are. I just let it soak in my carboy with the star sand. And afterwards, you, you may want to put the stone down into boiling water. It really needs to be clean. Okay, now we want to make sure the stone is at the bottom of the fermenter. And we start with our gas flow meter at zero. We're going to turn it up one click at a time until we just start to see a nice oxygen cloud coming out of the stone without it actually reaching the surface and bubbling through. 
For us, that was the 1 8 liter per minute setting on the flow meter. Now you can stir the fermenter with the wand, or what I like to do is kind of give the fermenter a little spin and get a good whirlpool going, and that carries that oxygen around and dissolves it really well. At the 1 8 setting, we'll need to let this run for about 90 seconds, and that'll get us in that good 10 to 12 parts per million range. Once we're done, we want to clean up, wash off the stone and the wand, soak it in some star sand or again in some boiling water, and allow it to air dry. And then you want to wrap it back up so it's ready for next time. Well, that's it. Uh, I hope you guys saw how easy it was to do this. And I guarantee that it will improve your fermentations and your homebrew. Thanks again.